So what's up everybody? So today kind of broke news well in the last 24 hours about two updates coming to the Pokemon Go app. One being kind of a simpler one. I mean, yeah, we were suspected the .71 Mewtwo exclusive raid update and all that coming. And of course it got delayed and kind of sent back a little bit. But as you can see, there is a .73 there's not really too much of it. There is two updates, like I said. This one is just mainly a patch. I mean, it gives you the ability to sit there and see before you use your raid pass what trainers and all are preparing for the battle. I mean, you can use the at symbol to search in the bar now for your certain Pokemon throughout their moves. They finally re uh, resolved the whole bug, supposedly. Of course, last time they resolved a revive issue where you use multiple potions or multiple revives at once sometimes too quick, it would freeze the app. Well, that still happens. So they supposedly freed up and resolved the last Premier Ball Raid Balls breakout. And now you can actually see that you get double XP. And then, of course, there's the usual various bug fixes. That's the one patch. Now, the other one's a little more bigger information. As you can see, the other three legendaries, Raikou, Entai, and Suicene, are now coming to the game starting the 31st which seemed awesome when we first seen and read that much the only problem is as you go down you notice that again they have made them exclusive to certain regions at certain times so from the 31st of august to september 30th raikou will be here in america and as you can see entire europe africa suicine in the asia and pacific regions now on September 30, all three will be switched to a different location. And you'll be able to battle until the 31st. Now they will make their final stop on the 31st, it says. But I mean, it doesn't really have, if it's going to go from October 31st through November. Or if you only get that one day to catch that third one when it finally switches spots again. So there's the confusing part. And again, it's going to make people upset, just like these exclusive raids that are now being sought out a little bit. They're starting to train out and let people try these again, considering, like I said, the last update that was supposed to happen today or tomorrow was delayed. Well, they're going to try it again. But now you definitely need to be raiding if you haven't been, because you've got to get the, uh, the XP, but also you have to continuously do raids to maybe get the invite and the passes for the exclusive raids. So, again, they gave us something good, but in a way, they kind of destroyed it by making it exclusive. Again, they should always make these events worldwide because there's not going to be 10 million people that play this game in America sit there and all be able to plan a flight within four weeks to go to Asia and to go to Europe just to get these other two because you're not guaranteed of how the when that third stop comes around how long are you going to have for that third and last legendary of gen 2 but again they are giving us something they are trying out the exclusive raids they could like you see right there it could be as early as september 6 but again we just have to play it by ear and see what happens hopefully niantic will fix the issues and we can actually start doing mew 2 and start getting these worldwide a little more worldwide instead of just certain places i really wish they would sit there and go ahead and take all region exclusives and make them all raid bosses all over the world because not everyone has a hair across mr mime all that unless you spoof or have a thousand dollars to go travel but again it's just something new and they're trying it out but that's it for today and hopefully you get out there you catch these legendary beast and until then peace